Day two of the Wrestling State Meet, we get everything from championship semis to wrestle back journeys. We go to a matchup at 195 pounds, Will Bonzi's Mason Cronin going up against Plainfield South's Matt Hennessy. Early on, Cronin going to work, single leg grab giving him leverage, and a couple of points on the takedown. Cronin twisting out of Hennessy's grasp, netting an escape point. In the end, an easy five zip win for the Warrior to move on to the semifinal match. To the 220 pound battle between Dub V's Nick Sondag and Lincoln Way West, Jake Dudek. Sondag quickly trailing in this one, 7 1 right off the bat, and getting rejected on the dip maneuver, getting pushed out of bounds. Later, Sondag does in fact get that takedown, but it's a little too late. An 8 3 loss, and now he must wind through the wrestlebacks. Sticking with the 220 guys, it's Tyree Williams from Quincy against Naperville Central's Christian Nussbaum. The Red Hawk with a firm hold of the leg and gets the heel pick, takedown for two points in round one. Later in that same round, Big Nussbaum levels Williams to the mat, nearly completing the pin. And then a moment later, boom, he does. The Red Hawk advancing to the final day with a shot at the podium. Cutting weight and heading to the 145 pound weight class. Jake Keating for Central, Marcus Hartman from Barrington. Not exactly starting in Keating's favor. Clip to his back, but he does avoid the fall. Second round, more of the same. Hartman taking the match 10 0, and Keating now has to compete in the battle backs. Kid's a real good wrestler, uh, so it's hard when you when you get put to your back right away to kind of wrestle back. And we kind of had to go big in the whole in the third period, which which you know isn't really our game plan. But um, he's been wrestling really well the entire tournament, so it's a little setback. Um, he's still a state placer right now, and he's gonna he's gonna do everything he can to get you know, get third place. So here we go, back to Croning. Up against Downer Grove South product Virgio Villalobos in the semifinals. Croning swiftly turning a neutral position into two points with control. Then in the third round, Villalobos with the reverse. And oh boy, do we have ourselves a match. 31 ticks left, Croning up 3 2, and the takedown seals it. The Warrior will compete for the state title at 195 pounds. He's done everything the right way. He's, he's worked out, you know, time and time again. And he's he's taking on any any, any comer, and you know, he's, he's just he, he deserves every piece of this. There's been a lot of hardships at the school. We had a kids program get shut down, but uh, I want to bring it back to our community and our area and just show kids uh, wrestling isn't a sport you should forget. When it comes down to it, you know, I'm just going to wrestle. Have fun, you know, the outcome, uh, you know, it's always hopeful that you win the match, but right now I'm just focusing on having fun and getting ready for college and, you know, just going out and enjoying my sport. And with Saturday in the books, the final state finishes are as well. Wabonzi's Mason Croning placing second and teammate Nick Sondag fifth. Central's Jay Keating wraps up in fifth while Christian Nussbaum finishes sixth.